M&M's peanuts, but the pastel Easter ones. Hey guys, so this week I'm going to be doing my March favorites. We're only halfway through March, but I can already feel that these things are going to be pretty like important in my month. So I've been going through a skincare journey, which is kind of interesting because for the most like most part in my life I haven't had to deal with acne too much so a lot of these things are going to be acne products but I just break out a lot right here and like just in my t-zone in general so I wanted to talk to you guys about the things that have helped me personally so we're going to start out with that so the first thing is the CeraVe acne control cleanser it makes my skin really dry but I'm pretty sure that's a good thing because that means the salicylic acid's working. My skin is also really dry in general, but this is something that's been helping me. I feel like sometimes when I'm using the sensitive skin one, I'm not really feeling like my pores are closing and like they're actually getting cleaned out and all that stuff. So yeah, it was like $12 from the store. I don't really remember. So the next thing, I've been using this for a pretty long time. It's the, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Uh, I just started getting back into it, but because of the salicylic acid in the acne control cleanser, my skin's really dry, so this is something that I put on right before I put on my moisturizer because I need it. Like, I've been getting, like, little flaky bits right here and stuff like that, so it's just helping hydrate my skin, you know? I'm just going through my skincare routine, but the next thing is the Bubble Water Cloud Cleanser. This is, like, $12. Like, it's a really cheap moisturizer, but it's for combination skin. It has the cute little pump on the inside, which I love. It gives me the exact amount that I need. It's so cute. It's a really affordable one, and I have not had to get a new one. It's been lasting a pretty long time, but that's also because I, for the longest time, was, like, rotating moisturizers. But this is something that moisturizes my skin while also not making me feel like my I'm getting oily throughout the day. And so the next thing is Aquaphor. So for the longest time, I was a Vaseline girly, but my friends were like, no, Aquaphor is like better. It's, you know, everybody talks about Aquaphor and for so many reasons, not just for lip product, which is really nice, but I've been using it for the past, I'm going to say like three weeks and I absolutely love it. The only thing that I don't like about it is the price point. Like this little tube is five dollars and I lose it constantly. I'm like running around my room like where is this five dollar bottle of chapstick that I bought? Because um Vaseline's like two, maybe three dollars. Um, but honestly, this keeps my lips super moisturized throughout the day. I don't feel like I have to reapply it, it's like I want to reapply it because after it like completely goes away, I don't know if it's like weathered away or something like for me drinking water and stuff like that or if it's just like soaks in my skin but either way I don't feel like my lips are chipped or not chipped cracking and dry afterwards all right and this is probably the most important thing that I have come to realize is that this is my favorite brand of pimple patches um these are the mighty patch heroes I have four different kinds and I'll show you each one so the first one which is kind of like a two-in-one, is the large spot ones. These are gigantic. I'll show you one of them. They come in two different things like that. They're basically invisible when you're wearing them, which I'm not wearing one right now, but they're two large ones. I put one right here, and then I put one, and it covers my whole chin, like right here. I absolutely love them. This was kind of expensive. For all of the, po the pimple patches, like the Hero ones, um, this is the most expensive one I ever bought, which was $18 or $17.99 or something. It comes with 10 of the patches, and I just wear them overnight because I don't really want a humongous pimple patch on my face during the day, but these are perfect for at night. The next one, which I considered was really similar to the large one, is the original one. This one is amazing. I don't like getting the invisible ones because I feel like for some reason, because they're thinner and all that stuff, they just aren't as effective, but these are the original. They are so inexpensive like for pimple patch you get 24 for eight dollars and they are like sterilized which of course as soon as you open them some of them aren't but they cut they have two of these and you get so many just dots i don't know how, much, how well you can see them but they're these tiny basically invisible dots and they have this packaging so you open it up as if it's sterilized which it probably is honestly and then you can rip them off as you need them so that you don't have to like pick at it to get it up which i absolutely love but these, honestly, are the best thing that I've ever used for my whiteheads. I have never had a pimple patch completely just take all of it out. But, yeah. And then, this is something I've been using for a little while. They're the micro point ones. They're 
eight patches. I think they're also eight dollars, but these are so different than the other ones. So they come in a little like teal plastic thing, and then you get this little casing. I only have one left, but they're tiny microderm needles within a pimple patch. They're really like securely placed, but you push them in for a little bit on any like pre pimple, like before it turns into a whitehead, any one of those. And it just reduces it and starts like healing before it even becomes a whitehead, which I love. And then the last one is the micro point for dark spots. I haven't had too much experience with this because obviously I see my face every single day. I'm not going to wake up and a dark spot's gone, but it comes like this. And this also is a microderm, which I like. I like the thought that it's like really getting into my skin. But I have three left, and I used one the other day right here, but honestly, I don't know. Because I, wo I went to sleep with the dark spot. I woke up with the dark spot. I didn't expect it to just go away magically, but I don't really know exactly what I expected out of this. Hopefully, if I keep using it. The only thing is I have so many dark spots. Ooh. So whatever. So keeping with personal health, um, I've been drinking Magic Mind for about 14 days now, and it's this cute little productivity shot. I absolutely love it. It's been making me a lot less stressed, honestly. These past two weeks have been very stressful with like midterms and all that stuff, and it's a really just like nice drink. It, it makes me feel like I'm taking my, my daily vitamins, honestly. It's like it has ashwagandha, it has lion's mane mushrooms, it has like just nootropics for like just... Help, helpful in general, you know? This is like the exact opposite of personal health, but it's self-care. Um, M&M's peanuts, but the pastel Easter ones. I love M&M's peanuts. These are my favorite M&M's ever because the normal M&M's are too much chocolate, so peanut M&M's are just like chocolate covered peanuts. And it's absolutely amazing. The pastel color makes it cuter. But yeah, my best friend Hong bought this for me and I love her for it. Alright, this is probably low-key the most exciting one. I work at Lulu, of course, Lulu Educator, and I got the Steady State For All Runners hoodie. I am not going to claim myself as a runner, but I like doing, a, I do a yearly 5k. I'm always down to do more, but my sister and I are the only ones who do it. Um, it's normal in the front, but it has a little thing that says For All Runners. And then on the back is the best part. It's like three people three to six i can't actually figure out if this is an arm but it's people running for all runners and then just right here it says for all runners underneath it says lululemon and then it says 98 of course but this is 148 dollars i i don't know if i'm gonna say it's absolutely worth it because obviously you know i'm an educator and i work there but I absolutely love it. I want to wear it every single day because it's the color of hoodie that I prefer. And it also has all my favorite colors, which is, of course, brown and white. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good spring break. If you're going on spring break, I'm just going to go home and relax. But, yeah.